Researchers and scientists agree that there is a great way to treat depression. In fact, this awesome treatment is 1.5 times more effective than any other treatment, including medication. If that's the case, why don't people like using this treatment? What is it about it that makes almost everyone dislike it? Depression is a pervasive and often debilitating mental illness that can have severe consequences for those who suffer from it. It is a serious and complex mental health condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It can cause feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and despair and interfere with everyday activities such as work, school, and socializing. In a work environment, depression can have detrimental effects as well. If depression isn't treated, it can hurt careers. It leads to presenteeism, which is when employees are at work but aren't doing their jobs, and absenteeism, which is when employees miss days of work. It may also hurt the performance of employees in many ways, such as their ability to concentrate and make decisions, manage their time, finish physical chores, interact with others, and communicate. Like most other health problems, the intensity and effects of this condition are lessened when it is caught early and treated well. But for those experiencing depression, finding effective treatments can be a challenge. Finding the best treatment for depression requires an individualized approach, as different treatments may work better for different individuals based on their unique needs and circumstances. Many people turn to medications, therapy, or a combination of the two in order to manage their symptoms. However, there is another, often overlooked, treatment for depression that has proven to be extremely effective for everybody, but nobody seems to like it. Despite growing scientific evidence of how effective this treatment is on depression, many people struggle to incorporate it into their daily routines, or worse, have the will to do it continuously. If it is so good, why is it that people are not adopting it? People may not like this way of treating depression for a number of reasons, including a lack of motivation, a lack of time, physical limitations, or a dislike for certain types of this method. One of the biggest problems with this treatment is that people don't want to do it. Many people find it hard to start a routine, or they lose interest in it over time. This can happen when they can't see a lot of progress, when the same routine gets boring, or when setbacks make you feel down. Lack of time is another reason. Sometimes people don't like it because it requires time. People who have a lot going on often don't have time for this method. Some people may feel like they don't have enough time in the day, especially if they have other jobs or commitments. The third reason is that they are unable to perform it physically. Some of these steps may be hard or hurtful for people with health problems or injuries. Some people might not want to do it because they don't think they have the skills or confidence in their bodies to do it. And finally, we just don't like it. It could be because most of us feel uncomfortable doing it, or we just don't like the pain and the hard work that come with it. No matter the reason, it's important to remember that there is no single solution to get past these obstacles. But there are ways to get around these problems and make this approach a more enjoyable and lasting part of a person's life. These include making goals that are realistic, finding things that are fun and interesting, doing them every day, and asking for help from friends, family, or a professional. And remember that it helps with depression and makes you feel better. Now, do you have any idea what this great treatment is? It's exercise. Exercise is one of, if not the, most effective mental health treatment there is. There is increasing scientific evidence showing the positive effects of exercise on mood states such as anxiety, stress, and depression. Exercise regularly can greatly enhance mental health and, interestingly, can enhance mental well-being just as much as psychotherapy. In fact, just 20 to 40 minutes of physical exercise can significantly improve anxiety and mood for several hours. For example, a 2006 meta-analysis of studies conducted by Klepp et al. and published on PubMed looked at the link between exercise and depression. The meta-analysis looked at articles that were published through November 2014 on PsychInfo, Embase, Medline, Central, and Sports Discus. 900 participants were also included in a total of 23 randomized controlled trials. The research concluded that exercise is an effective way to treat depression. Also, a South Australian meta-analysis, which looked at data from more than 97 reviews, 
found that regular physical exercise is 1.5 times more effective than other treatments. One of the most important things that the study showed was that exercise is linked to a more positive and less negative mood. It means that the more a person exercises regularly, the happier and more positive his outlook on life is. On the other hand, lack of regular exercise can result in anxiety and negative thoughts. A 2013 study conducted by Rethorst and Tribb also showed that exercise is a great way to deal with depression. It said that regular exercise, such as aerobics, resistance training, or yoga, can lead to significant reductions in depressive symptoms. In fact, it has been shown that exercise interventions can help with depression just as well or better than standard treatments like antidepressants and psychotherapy. With regular exercise, your body will also create endorphins, which are chemicals that make you feel good. Endorphins help boost self-esteem and confidence, bring people together, and make you feel like you've done something good. All of these things are good for your happiness and overall health. People can greatly reduce their chances of getting depressed and improve their ability to deal with the signs they already have if they work out regularly. Exercise is truly a remarkable treatment for depression. In fact, not just on depression alone but in every aspect of your life. So, if you want to feel positive and happy, enhance mental health, increase emotional connections, or maybe find the love of your life in the gym or at a park somewhere, exercise is the goat of all treatments. Can you see why exercise is the best treatment for depression? Like it or not, including exercise or physical training in your complete plan to treat depression is a must. And making exercise a priority and getting help from a doctor or personal trainer, people with depression can improve their overall mood and improve their ability to manage existing symptoms. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.